Hello and welcome to a new story titled, Told a random girl she was pretty for the first time and also got her number. Yesterday I went out to eat at a restaurant, the hostess was very very attractive. As she sat us I just kindly said, you're really pretty by the way, and she said thank you and smiled. When our waitress came back to give us our drinks she told me, the hostess wanted me to tell you she thinks you're really cute as well. I was flabbergasted and noticed her smiling and looking at me every time I looked over but knew in that moment I wasn't leaving without asking for her number, as I've never had the balls to tell a girl I found her attractive unless previously knowing her. As we were leaving I just kindly walked up to her and introduced myself and asked if I could get her number, she said, of course, and that was all. We've been texting since and we also set up a date for next week. Just wanted to share because my anxious self has never been the type to go out my way to talk to strangers, especially pretty girls. To say the least I'm very proud of myself and it boosted my confidence a lot. Comments 1. That's really wholesome and heartwarming to read. Even if it doesn't click for some reason, now you know you can do it. 2. That's ballsy, she seems really interested. Good luck on your date. 3. Honestly literally all you have to say is, you look cute slash attractive slash pretty slash handsome, to get people's attention. Even if you don't get their attention, it's still a nice boost to their self-esteem and day. Exactly. I once had some security officer in the Eurostar telling me I looked beautiful and that has been over 7 years ago and I still remember it. Mostly because it felt genuine and he said it without expecting anything back. 4. Here's the truth bud. If one girl who you perceived as really attractive, found you not only attractive as well but attractive enough to put herself out there and have the server tell you, then chances are many if not most girls who you perceive that way will find you attractive as well. That's the truth and it's in your favor. 5. My man. Way to go dude that's exciting. I've always had a really hard time initiating an interaction with an attractive stranger. 6. Nice dude. Just try to remember that they are a person with flaws too. Many of those flaws can be ugly. Additionally, many horrible people will hide their malicious behavior so as a fellow guy, I just want to make sure you look out for that. On a lighter note though, Make sure to ask questions that you ask questions you genuinely like to know the answer to. I see people in San Fran ask a lot of cookie cutter questions to people they meet and their bored body language gives them away. Ask questions that are ridiculous if you think it would be fun and silly to ask too. Make it a joke, have a fun time. Just tune into your own sense of humor and see how she reacts. The only way to know if you two are compatible is if you show the real you. On a side note, asking, cookie cutter, questions is not necessarily a bad thing. Conversations will naturally drift into deeper topics as the participants grow more comfortable with one another. I think following the advice, ask ridiculous questions, is more likely to backfire. People who do this may appear they're trying too hard to impress and be seen as socially awkward or somewhat immature, normally adults understand the importance of and are willing to practice small talk. During this initial get to know each other phase, the sole goal you should keep in mind is getting comfortable with one another. 7. Ah, reading this made me smile. Smiley face. Side note. I know a lot of people are telling you not to act nervous, and I'm not telling you that you should act nervous, but don't get in your head over that. From a girl's perspective, when I've had guys who are overconfident and forward hitting on me in public, it gives me vibes that they're just playing a numbers game until one girl says yes, and I've never liked that. But, I've had a few guys where I can tell they're a bit nervous, but they manage to work up the nerve to approach me in a respectful and not overly forward way like what you described you did, and those sorts of guys always give me butterflies and I'm excited to get to know them better. I think it's probably because it feels like the guy isn't just playing a numbers game with girls, but rather something about me stood out to him enough that he worked up the courage to do something outside his comfort zone. Anyway, try your best not to be anxious about the date, 
but don't psych yourself out thinking you need to be super smooth and charming. If you get there and it's awkward for the first 10 to 15 minutes before you two warm up to each other, or if you happen to stutter over your words or something, she isn't going to judge that, and she may even think it's kinda cute. This girl obviously likes you and first dates are almost always awkward, so don't get in your head about it, just try your best to be natural and have fun getting to know her. Smiley face.